Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for Virgo, my fellow Virgos. This is going to be your Pisces full moon reading. Now, Pisces is known as the sign of dreams, imagination, and a connection to spirit. It's also known as the sign of the mystic. So this year's full moon in Pisces graces the skies on Wednesday, September 2nd, infusing the collective with dreamy, mystical, creative vibes of the watery sign of the fish. So while the most empathic of us will struggle with the sudden deep dive into emotional depths, this lunation or this full moon cycle spells magical manifestations for all of us. And remember that full moons are also an amazing time to release what no longer serves you. So Virgos, let's go ahead and jump into this reading. We're going to invite spirit, angels, ancestors, loved ones who have passed, spirit guides, and ascended masters to this space to deliver the messages that we need to hear. For Virgo... What does Virgo need to know for this full moon in Pisces? This very psychic, watery full moon. Oh, Virgo, tower moment. Whoa, with this with the death card and the hanged man. Ace of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Gaining Clarity, Virgo. Wow, what an awakening. What an awakening we have here, Virgo. All right, and we get the Five of Wands in reverse. Some of you guys, this ends in marriage. For others, abundance what you've been waiting for, but the road is, look at this road on the tower, is long and winding. It's harder than you expected, Virgo, but let's go ahead and take a look. Overall energy, the Empress. This is beautiful. Virgo, you have what it takes. The Empress is manifesting. She's a, she is manifesting this new you, your new reality. This is your energy. This is the energy of Venus. This can be um, Libra or Taurus. You might have that in your chart. You might be dealing with these energies. You might be exhibiting these qualities, but the Empress only spells love, compassion, abundance. It's also the energy of the divine feminine. So Virgo, you guys are showing up here with this plutonic energy of the tower. So you guys might have Scorpio in your chart. Um, a tower moment is, um, is intense, but we shouldn't be as afraid of it as we are because this challenge, this shift, this complete renewal or this complete destruction leads to renewal. This is exactly what you've needed, Virgo. You might be uncomfortable. I have a feeling you are very uncomfortable. But this lightning rod, this is brought about by you. You and your higher self because you knew that you could not maintain the status quo, that something here has to change. I've been saying this in all of my readings, but challenges along the road. Our destruction, our hitting rock bottom, being cracked open is the only way that we can allow the light in. Challenges happen for us, not to us. Now, how you project yourself to the world, <laughs> the death card. So here's more of that scorpionic energy, mysterious. But some of you are see some people, the way other people are seeing you as at rock bottom. Rock bottom, but many of those that see you, that know you, are recognizing that this is your total and complete transformation and resurrection. The death card, death comes for all of us. So we cannot resist this change. And I, Virgo, I don't see you resisting this change. As uncomfortable as it may be, you may get stuck in your head a little bit, right? That way we wouldn't be Virgos if we didn't do a little over analysis from time to time. But I see you accepting this change. 
a total paradigm shift. For some of you, this is a complete change in your 3D circumstances, but it's a result of all of the inner work that you've been doing. You are prepared. You are ready for this magnificent rebirth, Phoenix rising from the ashes, Virgo. I could stop there. I, I would love to stop there, but spirit has more for us. So what's blocking your goals and your desires? We have the hanged man. This is this Piscean energy. So this full moon Virgo is going to be very important that you do the shadow work, that you take a good hard look at what you are clinging to. Oftentimes what we are clinging on to the most is what we need to let go of the most. Now the hanged man is about surrendering to the journey, but Virgo, I see here, you know what I'm picking up. I'm not picking up on you resisting this journey, this change, this transformation. When the hanged man shows up in the reverse, it's like you have surrendered to this, to your circumstances, but not just, I mean, that doesn't sound right. Not, you haven't surrendered to your circumstances, but you have released, you are, you are, you are surrendering to spirit and to the journey. And there is a major, major aha moment, enlightenment on its way, if it hasn't already taken place. And the hanged man is saying, now with this new information, we need to integrate, okay, what we've downloaded and these upgrades to our psychic abilities. And also, you know, we've stepped into the flow, we've surrendered to the journey and to universe. And now it's time to take action. Okay, because the hanged man, um, you know, he's pulled back. He's gotten this shift in perspective. You guys can play with time because this could be something that's already happened, that is happening, or that, you know, that you're in the midst of, or that will be happening. But don't allow yourself to be at this rock bottom for long. It's time to take action with this new life. You need to take action to have this new you, this new reality, okay? Because you have all the information you need. You have received the light codes. You are integrating them. This is beautiful. This is powerful stuff, Virgo. Very powerful stuff. But it will be time for you now to then take action and to move on this new knowledge and wisdom that you have. What you need to do to overcome these obstacles, understand that nothing is lost. The Ace of Pentacles is a blessing. It's a brand new beginning, but you do need to nurture this. You need to give it time. Not everything is going to be exactly the way you want it to. This, I'm getting this path, your path to enlightenment or to up-leveling or to whatever this is for you has been long and winding and it doesn't look or smell or seem or feel or sound like anything you imagined it would be. And it's far... It's very far from what you had fantasized or imagined. But even if you feel like you've lost things along the way because it looks like you have, it's for your benefit. And the opportunity isn't missed. But you will need to take action and you will need to indulge. But it's not really indulging, but self-care and self-love, nurturing and compassion with yourself as you do others. This Empress energy, the Divine Feminine, she's the Divine Mother. So this is the energy you need to take towards yourself because you guys are going through this amazing transition that we see here. And we see reiterated with the Six of Swords energy coming out of the dark. Wow, Virgo, this is a major shakeup major shakeup. And I love that this Piscean energy shows up because it's telling us it is this full moon, this full moon, you are releasing, you are letting go. You're stepping into the abyss. I love it. Now the next card out is, um, what you can do within in order to manifest this reality, your goals. And we have the two of swords. So again, right there with the hanged man. So these two cards are beautiful. This is the minor arcana version of the hanged man for me, because both of these characters, the two of swords, she's pulled back until she gets enough information. And you guys, this is speaking to the cycles of the moon because we have here, look, we have a full moon and we have the new moon. You guys are working, many of you are learning moon magic or have been and are working with the new moon and the full moon cycles to manifest and it is working, okay? It's happening. But what's happening here in the Two of Swords, this is somebody who's pulled back, somebody who didn't have all the information that they needed. They didn't know which direction to move in. 
She has two perfectly wonderful aces of swords, one in each hand. And so no matter which direction she chooses, she's going to get where she needs to go. And look at how these cards are mirroring each other. But now with this new information, with the clarity that you've received, the challenges that you've been able to transmute into wisdom along the way, it's now time for you to take action, Virgo. What you need to know is the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is you may be making things out to be much harder than they really are. All, all you need to do is take action. You have, you've learned the lesson here, Virgo, or you are learning the lesson. You've been through it all. You have this amazing power of manifestation, this empress energy, this love and this compassion, but you're a master manifester. You are creating your new reality, okay? And that reality is a much more beautiful, much more authentic place than where you've been resting or where you've been living up until now. So Spirit wants to make sure that you don't get stuck in your head. Don't worry about the things that you've lost. Nothing here has been lost. You have only gained, okay? And your outcome energy, we get the five of wands. This is fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sag, but the five of wands in reverse is taking me back to the four of wands. This is a beautiful beginning. This is a celebration. This is knowing that you're protected. This is having gone through, you know, the initial stages of this new you, of this new reality, of this journey. And you were waiting, you were waiting and you were climbing and you were, you know, huffing and puffing and you were bleeding and you were sweating and you got here and now you get to celebrate. You're releasing the tension that you are carrying along with you. So for many of us, you know, this is about your spiritual journey, but for some of you, it's going to be about relationships. I can't ignore that because I also, I do have two people here mirroring each other. You know, the um, two of swords, this is moon and Libra, and we have the hanged man, this Piscean energy. But I do see, you know, I do see for some of us, this speaks to a, you know, a union, a soulmate, a twin flame journey. And with the five of wands in reverse, taking me back to the four of wands, that's my 1111 card. So for some of you, it speaks to that. But for others of you, it's just your spiritual journey. And it's not just, I hate when I say that. It's your, it's your spiritual journey. It's a twin flame journey. It's your career. It's your up leveling. It's you guys receiving the light codes, you know, and integrating them into your life. And it's not easy. This is your great awakening. And the five of wands is releasing this tension. Everything's been sort of like a clamor. It's been a mess. It's been, um, it's been chaotic. It's been fighting, but it's all been part of your evolution. Yes, Virgo. Yes. Oops, this card wants to come out. We get realization number three. So we have two threes coming out here. We have three and then we have the empress, the number three. All right, we also have three major arcana cards. So this is spiritual big jobs, you guys, in your life. Absolutely a major upgrade, a major breakthrough. This realization speaks to this breakthrough. And here we do see this crescent moon. Um, it's the waxing crescent, so it's before the full moon. But 33 is the master teacher number. So this is where the student becomes the master. And this is what I'm seeing. Everything that you've been through, Virgo, has been meant to happen for you so that you can grow, so that you can evolve spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally, and so then you can also help others along the way. But this major realization, hanged man in reverse, two of swords in reverse, this is a huge, huge enlightenment, awakening, aha moment. Virgo, wow, wow, absolutely so powerful. All right, we get trust, we get number 32. So we have two fives here. We have 32 breaking down to a five, and we also have the five of wands. You have to trust, okay, that you are on the right path. You have to trust the information and the messages that you are receiving. You have to trust in this journey. You have to trust in your resolve and your ability to get through this and come out, not just survive it, but come out on top Virgo, come out manifesting what it is you want, what it is you need so that you can live this life that you are meant to. 
All right, so you can walk the path that's aligned with your soul's purpose. This 32 card is also a symbol of, you know, this person being in an egg that you are protected. Now you have your spirit animals, but they're also your family. So passed on loved ones, spirit guides, you guys have a whole team behind you helping you get through this. For some of my Virgos out there, this has been, look, I've got a little peeker in here. This has been... Um, you know, a dark night of the soul and you're moving through it. And that is awesome. You're no longer scared of it. You're coming out. You might have some bumps and bruises, maybe some scars, but Virgo, oh, you know, you guys, Virgo is the sign of the hermit and hermit is the great master. Some of you are here. Some of you are ascended masters and that is your purpose here. Many of you on a twin flame journey, many twin flames are ascended masters as well. But you are you are protected this journey all along the way. You know, and I keep getting this image of being cracked open, hitting rock bottom, getting into the dark depths, being cracked open so you can allow in the light. And look at that, number 10, discernment. Tens are the completion of a cycle. But now you have more discerning eyes because everything you've been through, Virgo, is going to help you see the world in a completely new light. And yourself and relationships. I mean, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. But it's also, this is a very intense reading, Virgo. Very, very intense reading. Oof. Don't get stuck in your head. Eight of Swords, I just need to keep reminding you, no matter how bad you think it gets, remember this is happening for you, not to you. And we get protection, set personal boundaries. But yeah, I love that because it's exactly what I was talking about. You are protected. Spirit wants you to know that no matter how difficult this is, no matter how difficult it gets, that you are protected in, you know, by spirit, by your spirit guides, your animal spirits, ancestors, passed on loved ones are all rallying behind you, Virgo. But it's also important that you set your own personal boundaries, especially as you go through Dark Night of the Soul and as you, you know, have this great awakening you're going to have to be really, really, really careful with whom, what types of energies you're allowing into your energetic field. So this goes with food and drink, okay? Because, you know, we consume toxicity or low vibe foods, fast foods, sugary beverages, car uh, carbonated beverages, you know, to pay attention to your alcohol intake, things like that. And then also the types of people that are around you. Okay. Some of you, again, I do keep seeing that hermit card, which is the Virgo archetype. Okay. That you may need to spend a little bit more time alone, um, maybe meditating or just sort of, you know, just integrating, just coming to terms with, you know, how you feel and, you know, welcoming, being welcomed into your new normal. All right, and we get Samadhi, perfect acceptance, 29, breaking down to an 11. So for some of you guys, this is, you know, 11, 11 is what I'm picking up on. It has to do with a twin flame or soulmate journey. It's sort of walking through this darkness, all of the stuff that you have to get through before you can come into union. But for others of you, this is just, this is your spiritual awakening. And it's this perfect acceptance of where you are in your life, on your path, who you are, and everything you've been through. This is that energy of the hanged man and the two of swords accepting surrendering to it and euphoria number nine honor yourself yes just as the empress honors everyone in her kingdom all of her creations virgo you need to honor yourself and everything you've been through because the student has now become the master wow virgo wow 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 all right, let's go ahead and see what additional messages come through for my Virgos for this very psychic, very mystic, very powerful full moon in Pisces. Remember, this energy goes until we have the next full moon, October 1st.
And you guys get Lapis Lazuli, self-knowledge. Number 18, breaking down to a nine. So, wow. All right. Interesting. So we have two nines coming out. Nine is a number of completion. You guys are completing this cycle. All right. Um, lapis. Um, I don't have a piece of Lapis around. Um, it is a blue stone. It's very similar to... Um, this is soda light. Okay, so it's sim similar to that color. Um, and all right, number 18, self-knowledge. So if that's not Virgo hermit energy, I don't know what is. I have clarity of speech. I know my inner self. I have a strong, defined personality. I have supreme confidence. Yes, Virgo, these are your affirmations because you have been through enough that now you trust this. You trust yourself. You know what you want to say. You know how to say it. Lapis lazuli is a beautiful mix of lazurite, calcite, and iron pyrite. This semi-precious stone is prized for its intense blue color and has been used through the ages in jewelry and ornamental tiles. Lapis was used by the ancient Egyptians in the burial mask of Tutan Tutankhamun. The ground-up stone was used to create the bright blue pigment seen in many historical paintings as it, as it held its color. It provided the luminous blue of the turban in Vermeer's The Girl with a Pearl Earring. Strength and beauty is revealed through challenge. Absolutely, Virgo. I love how this all comes together. You, I, I have so much. I like goosebumps, you guys. I just keep repeating to you, you know, the challenges in your life and your experience on this journey. It's going to be different for all of us, but they have been for you. Strength and beauty is revealed through challenge, awareness of a hidden motive. Honesty and poise garner respect. Freedom from needing to prove oneself. Yeah, because you don't have to prove yourself to anyone because you only, only you know what you've been through. Some others might have an idea, but only you, Virgo, know what you have been through. Objectivity is a source of composure under pressure. And you guys have been under pressure. What a beautiful, powerful reading, Virgo. Thank you for the work that you do. Thank you for being you. Wow. All right. I love you guys. Thank you for listening. Have an absolutely beautiful day. Take care.